Hello everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. In today's video I'm going to be going to my Blu-ray collection. This will be part 8. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. So first up we have Rocketman, the biopic of Elton John with Taron Egerton playing Elton John, directed by Dexter Fletcher. Um, really enjoyed this. Um, not as much as Bohemian Rhapsody, on a, although I know a lot of people would say the other way around. But I just like Queen more than Elton John, just a bit more. Um, one that I need to get on 4K, um, because it's going to look great on 4K. But I have the Blu-ray for the moment, so at least I have it. Next up, a guilty pleasure of mine, and quite an underrated film. Rock of Ages, starring Tom Cruise, along with Paul Giamatti. Uh, you've got Alec Baldwin, Russell Brand, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Brian Cranston. Great cast. Um, and as I say, it's a guilty pleasure, it is a musical, um, there are some cringy moments in it, but overall I really like it, and it's got quite a unique case as well. Next up we have Role Models, um, a comedy starring Paul Rudd, Sean William Scott, and I'm trying to think of his name, Christopher Mintz Plass from Superbad and Kick-Ass. Really like this, um, quite a funny film. Um, yeah, I just remember really enjoying it. Um, it's one that I don't really go back to very often. I should because I remember really liking it and especially the end. But um, yeah, that is Role Models. Next up we have an animated film from last year, Ron's Gone Wrong. Really good. Um, I saw this at the cinema, really enjoyed it. Um, don't really see too many animated films at the cinema anymore to be honest. But um, this was a good one. Had a good story, good voice cast. So yeah, happy to have that. Then we have Rumour Has It starring Jennifer Garner, Mark Ruffalo, Shirley MacLaine and Kevin Costner. Basically the story follows um, Jennifer... Did I, I didn't say Jennifer Garner, did I? I did say Jennifer Aniston because that is the Jennifer that I meant. It's probably, if I did say Jennifer Garner, it's probably because Mark Ruffalo's in it and obviously I watched The Adam Project recently so all getting my head confused. You know what I mean anyway. It's basically about... Um, this family and they basically think that they're based upon the graduate, the book. Um, yeah, it's a really good film. Um, underrated, I know a lot of people don't like this but I liked it, so yeah. Then we have Safe Haven, a Nicholas Sparks adaptation, so obviously I'm going to like it. Um, starring Josh Duhamel and Julianne Hoff. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it, I think it's a really good drama, romantic drama, and it's directed by Lars Halström, who did The Hundred Foot Journey, Chocolat, amongst many other films. Next up we have San Andreas, starring The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. Uh, fun disaster film, uh, not the best, but I had fun with it. Then we have Sausage Party, um, another Seth Rogen written film. Uh, yeah, I like it very, um, what's the word, inappropriate, definitely inappropriate, um, especially for an animated film, especially the end, um, very inappropriate, um, but yeah, definitely deserves an 18 rating, but it's a really funny film. Then we have Saving Private Ryan, one of, if not the best war films of all time, starring Tom Hanks, directed by Steven Spielberg, just a fantastic war film. Up there with the likes of 1917 um, and The Last Samurai for me. Then we have Screws, a really good Christmas film, really enjoy it. Um, only seen it once, but I think Bill Murray's great. Directed by Richard Donner. Um, yeah, just a really good Christmas film. And then we have the second best exotic Marigold Hotel. I did originally have the first one, but it was a rental copy and the case was in really bad condition, so I do have to go and buy that again. But I love both of these films. Obviously this time you have the addition of Richard Gere. They're just really good, feel good films. Next up we have The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, starring and directed by yep, Ben Stiller. Really like this. Love the tone of this film, just love the story, and I think Ben Stiller is great in this film. Then we have The Sentinel, starring Michael Douglas, Kiefer Sutherland, and Eva Longoria. Um, yeah, I like this film. It's a pretty good um, like thriller about um, the president being assassinated, that sort of thing. Really like it. Like these sorts of films. Then we have Serendipity, another 
I suppose it is a Christmas film. It is set at Christmas, um, for the most part, um, starring John Cusack and Kate Beckinsale. Um, yeah, really fun film. Then we have Seven Pounds, another one of my favourite Will Smith films. Um, just a really good, really moving story. Then we have Seven Psychopaths, a film by Martin McDonough, who did Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, along with In Bruges. Um, this stars Colin Farrell, uh, Woody Harrelson, Sam Rockwell, and Christopher Walken. Really funny, really good film. Then we have Shall We Dance, starring Richard Gere, Susan Sarandon, and Jennifer Lopez. Yeah, I like these sorts of films. I like Richard Gere, and I think this is a pretty entertaining film. Then we have Silence of the Lambs, a classic. This is one of the only films that won an Oscar in all of the main categories. It won Best Picture, Best Director, Best Actor, Best, Best Actress, and Best Adapted Screenplay, and is a fantastic film. Then we have Silver Linings Playbook, probably my favourite David A. Russell film, and he is one of my favourite directors, so that is saying something. Fantastic film starring Jennifer Lawrence and Bradley Cooper. Robert De Niro is great in this as well. Then you have Singing in the Rain. I'm getting the big 4K Collector's Edition next month. It's one of my favourite musicals um, and one of my favourite classic films. Absolutely love Singing in the Rain and I'm going to see it at the Hippodrome for my birthday. Although it is not a birthday present, it's a Christmas present from last year. Just so happens to be on my birthday. Um, then we have The Sitter starring Jonah Hill. Another David Gordon Green film. Uh, just a fun watch. Uh, only an hour and a half, so an easy watch and it's pretty funny. Next up we have Sleepers, um, this is a very powerful film, hard to watch at points, um, starring Kevin Bacon, Robert De Niro, Just Dustin Hoffman, Jason Patrick and Brad Pitt, um, about a group of boys growing up in the mid 60s in Hell's Kitchen and they do do something wrong, it's an accident and they have to pay for it for the rest of their lives and it's just a brutal but fantastic film with fantastic performances. Next up we have Slumdog Millionaire, a film by Danny Boyle starring Dev Patel. Really good film, one of my favourite Danny Boyle films up there with Train Spotting. Really love this film. Then you have Sneakers, an underrated film with a great cast, including Sidney Poitier, uh, Robert Redford, Dan Aykroyd, Mary McDonnell, yep, River Phoenix, David Strathairn. Just a great cast and just a really good film from the 90s. Then we have Some Like It Hot, another great classic film starring Tony Curtis, Jack Lemmon and Marilyn Monroe. If you've not seen this, highly recommend it. Then we have Sonic the Hedgehog, want to get this on 4K. Probably won't get it before the second one comes out now, but I am looking forward to checking the second one out because I really like this. And this was a return to form for Jim Carrey, not doing stupid comedy all of a sudden. Then we have The Sound of Music, another one of my favourite musicals of all time, starring Julie Andrews and Christopher Plummer. A film I watched a lot as a kid and one that I have very fond memories of um, and can't wait to revisit again soon. Then we have Southport, probably my favourite Jake Gyllenhaal performance and as many of you will know he is my favourite actor, he is just fantastic. He is basically the Meryl Streep for men, weird way of saying it. But he's he, every film he's in, he gives a completely different performance. I mean, you've got this, you've got Nightcrawler, Prisoners, all in a row, and they're all very different performances and all absolutely brilliant. Such a great actor, and this is a very good film. Then we have The Space Between Us, a nice romantic drama from a few years ago. Not special, but it was quite nice. Then we have Space Cowboys, a Clint Eastwood film. Um, yeah. Anything with Clint Eastwood in our watch, he's one of my favourite actors. And when you have Tommy Lee Jones, James Garner and Donald Sutherland, you've got a great film. Then we have Space Jam, A New Legacy. Uh, I've not seen the original, it is in my pile, but I have seen this and I thought it was okay. Uh, not too special, hence only being on Blu-ray and not 4K. Uh, but it is one that I will watch again. Then we have Spotlight, um, one that I've not shown yet because it is a new pickup. Um, I have seen the film though, and it is a very good film. One of my favourite Michael Keaton performances, and just a really riveting story. Then next up we have Spy, starring Melissa McCarthy, Jason Statham, Jude Law, and Rose Byrne, directed by Paul Feig. Really good. One of my favourite um, Melissa McCarthy films up there with The Heat and Bridesmaids. Then we have Stand by Me, one that I need to get on 4K. Just a great 80s film. 
coming of age film about a group of kids that go to find a dead body based on a short um, story by Stephen King. Um, highly recommend that. Then we have Stardust, another really great film directed by Matthew Vaughan, who directed all of the Kingsman films and the Kick Ass films, starring Claire Danes, uh, Michelle Pfeiffer, and Robert De Niro. Uh, Charlie Cox is in it as well. It's a really good film. Really like that one. Then we have, I might as well show all these three together, rest of franchise films really. We have Star Trek, Star Trek Into Darkness, and Star Trek Beyond. Love all three of these, can't wait for a fourth one. Um, first one's really good, second one's stronger, and third one's probably the weakest, but I do love all three of these films and definitely want to get them on 4K. Get them in the right order. Then we have the other two Star Wars films from the sequels that I haven't got on 4K yet. The Force Awakens and Rogue One. Really like this one. Obviously this is the first Star Wars film I'd actually watched and I actually really enjoyed it. And this is probably my favourite Star Wars film. Um, just it's really good, got great characters in it and it's just a great setup to A New Hope. I think it's a setup to A New Hope if I'm right. Um, but yeah. Those are the two Star Wars films. And that is it. That is everything for this video. Zoomed by in this video. Got them all shown. And there's not too much to go now. Only probably two more videos. Maybe one for my actual collection. And then obviously the ones that I haven't seen. So that is it. So if you like the video, make sure to give it a like. Subscribe down below if you want to see more videos like this. And turn your notification bell on. So you know when I have a new video uploaded onto the channel. Um, don't forget to comment down below anything and everything. Have you got any of these films? What are you, your thoughts on some of these films? Let me know down below in the comments. I will get back to anyone that takes the time to leave me a comment. And that is it. So until next time everyone, take care. Goodbye.